for the sign of cancer hello and welcome to my channel sorry about the noise <laughs> i've already shuffled and we'll be going through the present time wow we'll take a look at how your person sees you give me a second i'll see if i can close the window okay sorry about that we'll take a look at how your person sees you how you see them and then we'll talk about why it's happening so cancer just keep in mind the roles can be switched they see you could be you see them so I'm getting an interesting in energy here um, there's some situation that's coming up in July for a lot of you cancers um, you're going to feel like your ship is finally coming. Wow, it, it, it's actually happening. This is it. Yeah, it's going to feel really good to have these feelings about someone that you know or someone coming towards you. Or it could be a situation. Now, if this is not you, Cancer, it's someone you're dealing with okay so let's get into reading and let's see what's going on so we got the king of pentacles for the present time nope not the king of pentacles okay for the present time let me redo that let me re let me come correct for the present time i'm sorry i'm distracted i was distracted by that noise but i'm good now Okay, for the present time, we got the Five of Cups. You see that man in the black robe, cloak, or whatever they call it. He's got a hood on his head. That's the Five of Cups, and it's with the Seven of Cups. Now, the Seven of Cups, okay, all those tiny little cups you see there right below the word present, Okay, so let's get into it. The Five of Cups, it reminds us that where we put our focus in life has a great deal to do with the quality of our lives and how well they work for us. So you could find yourself asking, what will you choose to focus on? Because the implication is probably clear. You might ask, what are you going to um, choose to focus on? What are you going to cry over? The milk that's spilled on the ground. You see all these cups. Three of them are on the ground. And uh, the wine or milk or whatever that is, it's spilled out. But he still has two cups in his hand. So you're going to focus on the two that are in your hand or what's spilled out on the ground. What I'm trying to say is that, is that you're going to have to watch where you put your focus. And be sure that it's for your highest good. And the Seven of Cups, the card below, it's about choices. It indicates confusion and you've got too much going on. There's disorganization. It's pointing to a need to narrow your focus. You're probably trying to do too much and doing my, mo most of it not really well. So it's about trying to just take on a few of the important things that are on your plate. Work through them one by one carefully. You could start to feel overwhelmed, but just remember that you can control, at least in some areas, how much you're trying to take on. So basically, there's some disappointment here with the Five of Cups, Cancer. Some feelings of loss, regret, there's grief. You could start to feel abandoned and unloved. And uh, it looks like it's it has something to do with I'm picking up, it might be your person. They got a lot of options here. Person you're dealing with. Or there's just too much going on and it's causing confusion. So you're trying to figure out what are you going to focus on. Whatever you um, are disappointed about or are you going to focus on the positive. So... We need to clarify these two cards more by taking a look at the rest of the reading. So for now, let's take a look at how your person sees you. They see you like the 
Three of Swords, and the Four of Cups. So the Three of Swords, it's about sorrow, but what's, yeah, it's about what's on the other side of this sorrow. It can be enhanced understanding and joy, so allow yourself to experience any sorrow or pain that comes up now so that you can move past it. This kind of points to possibly some deep emotional issues that you need to address before you can move on. If you deny any pain, it will not make it go away. So allow yourself to experience any pain that comes up, but don't wallow in it. You do not and should not wallow in grief or sorrow for long periods of time. However, you're the only one who can decide how long is long enough and others cannot decide this for you. So your, your person sees you as maybe you're shutting them out because you're there's some sadness here there's heartbreak there's relationship difficulty um, you, they also see like the four of cups there's a card about wishful thinking it warns us to remember to pay attention to what is now and to count your blessings that you eat that you currently experience and not to worry too much about what could be because it's really easy to overlook what we already have in pursuit of what we don't have. So be sure that you're counting your blessings. And don't spend too much time in self-pity or wishing your life away. Because a lot of life, it actually has to do with where we put our focus. So you might want to try to put your focus on things and people in your life that you have to be thankful for. So like, the, like I said, they see you like the Four of Cups and the Three of Swords. You're, uh, you're not happy. You're sad. There's some difficulties going on here with you and your person. You could feel rejected. And then there's, um, wow, I don't like this. The Four of Cups, you could feel unimportant by your person, devalued, and you have regret. Because if you can see the picture of this card, of the Four of Cups, the card that's below the word they see you, uh, this man looks like he's sitting in a park, and he is, um, he's just really stuck in his head, and he's just wishing and regretting, and he's doing so much of that that he doesn't even get up to fix his hand. You can't see his hand, probably, but... There's blood all over his hand. He's just stuck in regret and feeling not important, maybe. And and just wishing things were different. And so this is how they see you. They, feel, they see you as really hurt. You're really sad. That's how they see you now. Let's take a look at how you see them. So you see your person like six of swords and three of wands. So six of swords, it's a great time for travel if you can manage to do so. It's about metaphorical movement, could be a change in where you are inwardly. And the change is for the better. It could be internal or external, it's about thinking where you want to be. It's about resolution, the Six of Swords. It shows at least it shows at least a slight reduction in stress and strain. Things may not be perfect yet, but they're going to be better than they have been in the recent past. So it's about taking this time to get your head above the water and decide where you're going from here. Even a short change of scenery or a short break is helpful. So you see your person like solving problems, bringing recovery. Yeah, this person that you're dealing with, they want resolution. Now, they, you also see them like the Three of Wands. The Three of Wands, you can find that your finances are going much better. In fact, 
You could feel like your proverbial ship has finally come in. So you're likely to be feeling really strong with a good reason. You may be finally experiencing some important success. After you've been through, through some difficulty, the Three of Wands, it's very positive, extremely positive. Even if you don't work outside the home, it means that your efforts, they're seen, appreciated, and well-respected. So you see them as looking ahead ex for expansion and growth, possible teamwork, and because it's with the Six of Swords, yeah, this person wants the problems to be resolved. They want recovery. They want to move into calmer waters. And they want growth. They're looking ahead. So let's take a look at why it's happening. We got the King of Pentacles and the full card. Now the King of Pentacles is about success and money matters. Um, it's a sign that now is not a time to be a maverick. It's a time to follow the established way of doing things. When it stands for an actual person in your life, it, refer it refers to a very masculine type. Could have hair and eyes on the darker end of the spectrum. If it is referring to a man in your if it's referring to an actual man in your life or a person in your life, just know that this is a man who you can believe in and absolutely trust in. So, one of the reasons why it's happening is because of the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles, I like this card. It's a good, stable father figure type. They're about security. They're committed, could be really career focused. Um, someone wants success in this connection. Now, it's also with the full card, which is an indicator of newness in one form or another. It could indicate the purity and open hearted energy and innocence of a child. Because we know children, they're trusting, and trust forms the basis of meaning for this card. And this is usually a positive card in the tarot, but it's going to be important for you to take time to be sure you're looking where you're going. Trusting yourself to take a step into the unknown, that's one thing. But if you do so without any thought whatsoever, it could be a big mistake. Just like what he's doing in the picture. He's ready to take a leap. See the full card? That's the card below why happening. He's ready to take a leap. He's got open-hearted energy. But he's not watching where he's going. Yeah, and it looks like he could be hiking in the mountains. And what's below him, it looks like the Pacific Ocean. So he's about to just step off into the unknown. Into a lot of water. So you have to be careful where you're, where you're, um, what you're taking a leap into. But it's about taking a leap. And that's how someone's feeling. Just they're ready to go for it. So let's recap the reading so we can get the clear picture. We can get a complete picture, okay? So, Cancer. Like I said, your person, they see you really sad. You're not happy. It looks like you could be heartbroken. And I'm picking up, it's because of the Seven of Cups. Your person uh, has or had a lot of options. And I guess you found out about it or you know about it. And, uh... You're not happy with that. And because the Four of Cups is here, um, uh, you have regret. Maybe, yeah, you have regret or you could be starting to feel unimportant. So it looks like you might be catching feelings for this person. You might have known they had options already, but now it's, it's a problem. Yeah, so you, you're starting to feel devalued or maybe rejected. And you re, you have regrets. Maybe you regret now that you opened up your heart to this person because now it looks like it's, it's broken. Yeah, because they have options. But it looks like you see a person... Um, wanting success with you. 
Yeah, they got the King of Pentacles here. They want success with you. So it looks like you're going to try to make things better. Because they see you like um, you're the one that made them feel like this was it. Like their ship has finally come in with you. Yeah, you, you make them feel like you're the one that they want. And they want to move into calmer waters with you. They don't like having you feeling this way. Not at all. You see the five of cups there? Yeah, they see that there's the, the disconnection is, is um, broken or it's about to become a mess. So they're going to focus on the two cups that, that's still left in this connection. They're not going to focus on what's built on the ground. And they're going to try to pick things up with you and make things better. So that you two can sail in the calmer waters again. This person really likes you. And it looks like the fool card. I'm picking up that you, Cancer. Yeah, you like this person too. You're, you're, you're ready to jump right back in. Isn't it? I love the look. <laughs> I wish you could see the look of this. The fool card, his face, it's like, ah, I got my person back. <laughs> his face looks like that. So he's so happy that he's got his person back. That he's not watching where he's going and he's just about to uh, land into the Pacific Ocean. But your person wants to work on this. They don't like seeing you down and out and feeling unimportant because they had choices. They were. They were. They had options. They made you unhappy. But your person likes you because they see you as a three of wands. When they met you, or the way they feel, you make them feel like their ship has finally come in. You, they've been, this, You're the one that they've been waiting on all their life, for for a long time. So they want success with you. And. It looks like you're jumping right back in. Yeah, maybe not right away. Or you could be feeling like you want to jump right back in. Yeah. So you might not do it right away. Because it looks like there's some disappointment you have to get over. But your person's going to let you know. They want success with you. And uh, you're the one that they want. And they're going to pull you to... They're going to pull you into calmer waters with them so the connection can be good again. So, Cancer, that's a reading that I got for you. I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. Post my next reading. Post my next reading.